Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in Pretoria, South Africa. My name is Gustav Miller and this video is a summary, a short summary of the four Irish whiskies that I reviewed and with which I did some food pairings over the last few days. So I did review two single pot still whiskies and two single malt whiskies, all four from Ireland. They're right here. And I'm going to give a quick summary, but I think before I do that, this is my favorite one out of the four, and I'm going to reveal which one this is. So let me take a quick sip before I get going. Slange. Hmm. Yes. My favorite one. It is a good pick. So the first one that I reviewed... I've got the summary of all of them right here, was the West Cork 10 year old single malt. There we go, it's this one. And it was matured in ex bourbon cars, bottled at 43% ABV, all four of them 43% and I think that's the first time this has happened in a mini series that I'm doing. My summary for the West Cork was Smooth, fruity chocolate with warm peppery spice and I paired that one with white Irish cheese and dried apple on a cracker. And that was quite a nice pairing. I still remember that one. The next one that I reviewed was the Green Spot. Single malt and the Green Spot. Single pot still whiskey matured in ex bourbon and ex sherry casks. Also 43%. My summary for that one was creamy caramel with fruity chocolate and oak spices. And I paired it with chicken chipolatas and caramelized onion hummus. And I remember that for me was the best pairing in this mini series that I did. The third one that I reviewed was the red breast 12 year old single pot still whiskey matured in ex bourbon but mainly ex sherry cask so a lot of sherry influence 43% my summary for the red breast was fruitcake with thick custard lightly dusted with some pepper pepper spice that was my summary I paired that one with a very light very smooth mango dessert um, with a fresh slice of mango in order to connect with the fruit element, the fruity element in the flavor profile of the red breast. The last one that I reviewed was the Tullamore Dew, 14 year old single malt and that was a very very interesting single malt whiskey from Ireland matured in ex bourbon casks and finished in four different casks. Old Bourbon, Oloroso Sherry, Port and Madeira cask. So four different cask finishes with which made that whiskey quite complex with layers upon layers of flavors. My summary for that one was, was smooth sweet fruit with creamy vanilla and warm oak spices and I paired that one with Dubliner Irish cheese on a cracker and a little bit of berry jelly to connect to the fruitiness. My favorite one out of the bunch is this one and it took a bit of thinking and I had to pour all of these again and taste them against each other but finally I decided for me personally my number one out of these four is the Tullamore Dew 14 year old single malt right here. That is my favorite. The nose complex fruity, a fruit basket with orchard and tropical fruit, vanilla, brown sugar, sherry, honey and old wood. On the palate rich complex sweet fruity apples, berries, creamy vanilla, grain sweetness, earthy wood, oak spices, a lot going on because of the multitude of cask casks that we were used for the finish of this whiskey and the finish on the palate long fruity sweet spicy and dry some people may argue 
too many different casks involved and it creates a bit of confusion in the whiskey. But I must say, for me, it was very, very pleasant. I like the Telemordieu 14-year-old single malt. That is my number one. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next mini-series, which is going to be four different bourbon whiskies from America. Until then, slant it.